Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 bootable installation media which bypasses the TPM check and the secure boot requirement of installing Windows 11. For this demonstration, I will be using my Windows 10 installer preview that I installed in this video which should be popping up as a banner up there. So if you want to watch that, go ahead and click on it. Now I've already got all the things we need for this installation in the VM, that is my Windows 11 ISO and the Rufus utility that we'll need. So we are ready to go. So what I'm going to do is open Rufus. Um, no, thank you. Okay, well, I'm going to move it here so that you can see the task manager alongside with it. And right now there's no device plugged into my virtual machine. So I'm just going to press Control Command, release my mouse and then move up here. And I'm going to connect my USB flash drive. Now, once it's connected, Rufus will automatically pick up from the device drop down here and as you can see i've got my windows 11 21h2 iso here and for this i'm just gonna select disk or iso image from the drop down normally i should default to this option so you can just not care about that and go over here and locate your ISO double click now here the image option part is the trick that Rufus uses to bypass those two checks that Windows 11 setup will do so by default you will see here that standard Windows 11 installation is selected with TPM 2.0 and secure boot as requirements but in the drop down menu below you can see a second option with extended Windows 11 installation which has no requirement whatsoever for those two. Okay, so we are going to select that. Then just leave the next two options as default and move on. And for the volume label, you can choose any label that you want. So I'm just TNT. That's file three. You can choose any label you want. For file system, just leave it as default in TFS. And for cluster size, just leave it as default again. Okay. Okay, so now you are ready to start the process. One thing to note though, is that starting this process will erase everything that you have on your USB. So make sure you have a backup of that, and then you can proceed. Now, all that is left to do is wait, and let Rufus do his thing. Okay, after removing the Windows 11 installation restrictions, it's finally done. Now, the installation media can be booted up when you enter the BIOS and choose from the boot options, just as you normally would. If you guys want a tutorial where I actually install Windows 11 using this bootable media on a computer, just let me know in the comments below. And meanwhile, get subscribed because I'll be doing a video where I install and use Windows 11 on a laptop that is 11 years old. So make sure you get subscribed so you don't miss that. And in the meantime, this video is over. Hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.